story of Sojourner Truth is that she was a slave in upstate New York. I mean, New York had slavery until 1827, just a few years before the Civil War. So she was freed, and then, but by, her name was not Sojourner Truth then. It was uh, Isabella Bomfrey. She was, uh, that was her slave name. It was the name of her uh, that was given to her, Isabella, by her owner, who was Bomfrey. And, um, but when she went down to, to New York and was working in a white woman's house as a domestic, she heard a voice that said, your name shall be Sojourner. And a sojourner is a person who travels, uh, often with the implication of going on a quest. And so she, the very next day, she walked away from that house and started walking for some reason uh, east out onto Long Island. And she met a woman who asked her what her name was, and she said sojourner, and asked her what her last name was, and she didn't have one. But the voice came back and said, your name shall be Sojourner Truth. And at that moment, she realized that her name was going to be her destiny, that she was meant to travel and tell people the truth. And for her, in those years before the Civil War, the big truths for her were the abolition of slavery everywhere and um, rights for women. So she spent then the next decades traveling around, telling people the truth. She was illiterate. You know, as a slave, it was illegal for uh, slaves to know how to read and write. And she never learned to read and write, but she was an incredibly uh, great improvisational speaker. And people followed her around and wrote down what she said. In the 1850s, she was out in Ohio, and she said the quote that I scratched into her painting, which says, Now I hear is talking about the Constitution and the rights of man. I comes up and I takes hold of this Constitution, and it's mighty big, and I feels for my rights. It's like, like the Constitution's a big fuzzy animal, and she's feeling for her rights. She said, I feels for my rights, but there ain't any there. And then I says, God, what ails this Constitution? And he says to me, Sojourner, there is a little weasel in it. That weasel, which she meant as a joke, or, or kind of sarcastic joke, is a real key to everything about Americans who tell the truth. Is, and, th and that is that, you know, in that amazing document, our Constitution, that promises rights and, and justice and freedom, you know, and all those you know, great values that we uh, think are so important to the American experiment. The people who wrote that, you know, the, the white founders, found a way to weasel out of those uh, giving them to everybody. And because of that, what becomes then significant is that if everybody who's been marginalized, whether they're slaves, freed blacks, Native Americans, women, poor whites, I mean, the vast majority of people in the United States did not get what the Constitution promised. And how did it happen then that those rights were expanded? They were expanded because the people who were left out organized and demanded them. And it's been a long process. It's a process that's still going on. And that's why this Americans Who Tell the Truth project continues uh, to highlight all kinds of people from 150 years ago uh, up to last week.